ever thought about how you feel about your partner? The things that they like, the things that you like, the chemistry that is in there. Have you ever thought about chemistry versus compatibility and what really matters the most? Is it the chemistry or is it the compatibility? Mm -hmm. Now, to talk to us all about that is the one, the only, Benjamin Zulu. Welcome to the show and Happy New Year. Happy New Year and thank you. Wow. Yeah, uh, Uko Salama, uh, Christmas, good. holiday, uh, New Year's, everything was fantastic. Did you spend it, it here? It was but I keep reminding people your birthday is more important than 1st January. Mm. New Year is communal and there's a wave and everybody is singing and jumping and you can be carried by the mood. Yes. So be careful. But on your birthday, that's when you're growing a year older and it's personal. Okay. That's okay. when you have more space for reflection. So ah. it's okay. Enjoy the mood of Christmas. But remember, yes. the New Year resolutions usually mean nothing. Your mm. birthday resolutions mean more. More. Because nobody has pressured you to come up with resolutions. That's true. And something interesting that was said here mm -hmm. was that uh, this could be happy new wishes and everything, but they can all be, be wishes if you exactly. don't do anything exactly. to make those wishes come true. It's better when you, you're turning a year older. Yes. <laughs> to Is it to introspect because people are not, there's no mood now. This mm -mm. time is self-driven. Yes. People can gather and do a party for you here and there. But more so it's personal. So I also had a good crossover. It's a good time. What I value most about New Year is that um, we have a week of li little, two weeks of no activity. Yes. <laughs> and it's for your family. For traveling up country, for just doing different things. Mm -hmm. And we experience closure and we see now a new chapter is opening. Yes. But for me, I said my new year resolution is to stay put. Only one. That's it. <laughs> stay put. Don't, I don't see pressure myself mingi. with unrealistic expectations. Uh -uh. I had already said. I, I, incidentally, my birthday was just a month before, 25th November. So oh. I had done my reflections and recalibrated my machines and targeted where I want to go. Stay put in all facets of your life. That's the only resolution you can sustain. Forget mm. these others. This year, this year, la 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 la. watch Niko Naya Jim, Benjamin Zulu. Encourage your sister. You, you better reflect on your birthday. That you may reflect <laughs> well, in, a, in the last 15 years. It's <laughs> bad. Well, watch her. Let's uh, get into the topic right. today. So the chemistry versus compatibility. Compatibility, yes. Um, I was fighting with one girl <laughs> when she's early 20s and she's dating Amze who's in 60s and she thinks ah. boyfriend. To stop calling Amze a boy in Africa, we are respectful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 So, one of the things I, <laughs> there was a lot of chemistry, but there was no compatibility. And I had to teach her that difference, that mm -hmm. some things feel very good, but they are very bad for you. <laughs> but you know, like a chemistry, exactly, of compatibility. Course. When you have um, uh, uh, suppressed needs, the need for father's love, when you have a suppressed need, the need for mother's love, mm. you are likely to look for that in your love relationships if you are not aware that there's a gap in your psychology. Okay. So let's start here. Chemistry is a feel good. All right? Yeah. <laughs> it's simple. We all know it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, and let me remind people that there's a Buddhist saying that when you meet a person and you feel anxiety and palpitations and mm -hmm. you feel butterflies and you feel you're sweating and you're, that's not your lover, that's not your destiny, that's not your, that's not the one. Ah, what are you saying? I just have a Buddhist. <laughs> There are some Buddhist monks who have been meditating on principles of life for years. So yes. sometimes they pull out a truth that is very deep. So that's not the one? <laughs> no. <laughs> when you meet the person and you're shaking and you're, and you're can hardly compose yourself. You can't you're, talk. You're, 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 that's not your soulmate. When you meet a soulmate, you feel peace. Ah, no, that makes sense. That's a huge difference. <laughs> <laughs> when you meet your soulmate, mm. there will be excitement, but there will be a homely feeling. As if you have come home. Home is not a place, it's a feeling. feeling. This person's supposed to feel home. Okay. The, 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 I, I've been meeting many girls. My searching for, for wife was chaotic. It was chaotic? Mm -hmm. What was happening? Because I was producing people day by day. At you were doing inboxing, what? perusing, in box. We are in class, PhD. My colleagues used, the a colleague used to poke me. Listen to a lecture. You're window shopping every day. <laughs> My search was a search, like searching for a car. Check every bazaar. Check prices. Check what I need. That's how I was searching. I was in boxing girl. I was checking. I was like, you know, that's bash you. <laughs> you go on. I was practically searching. <laughs> so I met many girls. Well, many, uh, I knew this was a waste of a day, waste of money. <laughs> Let's done with it. Oh my God. <laughs> many you talk on phone, you Look, the chemistry is so strong because she's talking to your ear. That's the problem. Oh, 
phone dating but somebody is talking to your ear are you like as if they're whispering to your ear uh-huh. <laughs> in real life we don't talk to each other's ear no we don't <laughs> so the yeah. voice seems all oh, this sweet when you finally meet ah, it melts away <laughs> you realize it was all idealized by your own need but when i finally met one girl and i felt different just homely i didn't feel the pressure to perform we went for a date and we spent 250 shillings on one can of yogurt and we shared it yeah <laughs> she, reviews, that I did. she reviews to Uber, she said, let's use matatu this time. Ah. I went back with the money, I had to pay her money back where she was coming, because I still had money. Other dates I had, had, had to em, try and tell her. <laughs> because it's pizza and water and shawarma, things I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> At least you learned. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we can, I would not want to repeat that in this world. I'm done. <laughs> Imagine putting yourself up there. Do you want me? No. You put, it's tires her. <laughs> but tires I tell her. people to do it in a concentrated manner. Okay. You need to prepare when you're ready. Attack the dating scene. The same way you'd want. I want to have a car by June. Mm. Tembea baza zote ni Nairobi. Yes. Yes. The problem with you women is you you you're half, you're half in half out. Yeah, naomba Mungu na ngojea. You're just focusing on your work. <laughs> just focusing on everything except the fact that you're searching. Okay. <laughs> but because society taught you to just sit and wait. I understand you. The man the man will come. <laughs> They're supposed to look for me. Hunt me down. <laughs> No. At the same time, you're not replying to our inboxes. Somebody no. inboxed you one Hunt week ago. Hunt me harder. Somebody, <laughs> somebody inboxed you one week ago, and you're yet to reply. But they wrote hi. <laughs> no, don't reply to hi. Hi is for a teenager, <laughs> or an adult who has a teenager brain. Yeah, you <laughs> know. So, okay. chemistry is all that thing that I was feeling towards everyone. That okay. thing that if you like how they look, you like how you talk, chemistry is important, because you're not going to marry a person who does not have chemistry. Mm. Now, compatibility is what, what, what the character, now the, the problem with chemistry is, comes from the person's charisma. Many times how they look, mm. the appearance, how they talk, how they make you feel. Mm. Many people are very charismatic. In my coaching, I teach the wrong women. Okay, I started the wrong women. What are you talking about? Me, there are three types of wrong women, never today. There are three, they are wrong women. Yes, one of them is the charismatic woman. She's extremely sexually charged, irresistible. At the key. Yes, <laughs> extremely charged. Uh huh. She is, oh my God, fine as a glass of wine. You love to look her direction when she passes, she commands attention. Okay. That's not necessarily a bad thing. The problem is that all she is. But you don't know that. Me, hey. uh, that's men's conference. I'm not going to tell you our secrets, but one of the things, <laughs> <laughs> one of the things you know she's not the one is because she hates what society regards, regards as wife qualities. Like the simple thing as cooking for a man, simply thing like waking up when he wakes up to make him tea. Ataka man, Jakuita, you just wake up because to prepare him. She hates that. She says, we are both working. Do I have? I do have. Nya, nya, nya. She's defiant, but she's very charismatic. You, she can be in parties. Exactly. You can oh. walk with her in public. She knows how to speak well in front of and people. And she learns your you you biases quickly and adjusts Very fast. to them. Okay. She, if she t- talks to me today, she will come tomorrow with a leso somewhere uh, to look Mathalian because she oh, understands I'm up country okay. and lessos are common in up country. And yes. she, will, she will act the part to get pray me. Pray for food. In re- exactly. By the way, anybody can fake prayer. Do you guys remind you the devil can pray? Don't value prayers too much? Okay. When you go for a date, don't start with prayers. Pray in the morning for the food you're going to eat that day. First January, pray for the food of that year. <laughs> so that if you have to... <laughs> so, charismatic woman is very dangerous. She has strong chemistry. That woman is called the dependent or the passive aggressive. Or a, a woman who looks very compliant. Compliant. Doesn't challenge you. Flaws is what you want. She, she appeals to us men who love to be obeyed unquestionably. And she adores you up here. The problem is she has nothing to bring to the table. Many times she's less, she's all of a lower level than you. Maybe less educated or less a thing or less. And, but she gives you what you want. That's the charismatic one. No. That is the which the one? The codependent one. Condi, codi, where are you going to get the Codependent one. That's yes. number two. Yes. And on that the note, you watch to take a break. And then, compatibility, chemistry, I don't know. You know how Benjamin is, eh? All your questions, please trim them in. If you're wondering if what you have is compatibility, is it chemistry? But one thing we've been told, if she's making you perspire, if she's making you fidget, if you're not able to speak, ah, she's not the one. Or he's not the one. We're taking a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali. <laughs>
Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. Benjamin Zulu is in the building and we've just been schooled, guys. Apparently, there are three women not to date. Wow. And we were just at the codependent one. So, kuna moja amebaki, Benjamin. Ni mgani uyu? She's the narcissistic one. The narcissistic woman. She is... Narcissistic people lack empathy. They are very selfish, self-absorbed, manipulative. They Toxic. Lack, exactly. But they know how to act, right? When you are near to each other, they know what you expect. So you know you're dealing with that kind of woman when she rushes intimacy, isolates you from your friends, never says sorry, never apologizes, can't take any kind of criticism. Mm. But she makes you feel guilty for even thinking of leaving her. She makes you, and she rushes things to get you entangled. Get a child, get married, exactly. get a wedding ring. And men who are good at it are the prime candidates because they are responsible and reliable. Okay. I told you the other day that good boys are the victims of narcissistic women. Bad boys cannot be conned because they are bad on their own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, and they can smell bad exactly. from a distance. And they don't care. Mm -mm. They can leave you there. But a good boy cares. If you get him to promise, he will want to keep the promise. Mm -hmm. If you get him to get a child with you, he wants to stay there for his child. Because he's responsible and sensitive. So this type of women are the most, the right woman is called the virtuous woman. The virtuous woman, I want to warn men. She has beauty, you like how she looks, but that's not all. In fact, that's not what... You might notice it first, but next you notice that she is faithful, sensitive, loyal. And there are many simple signs that you're dealing with a good girl. She can yeah. hardly ask for money. You will know she has needs, but she can hardly ask for money. She struggles <laughs> to ask for money. Yeah. And the other thing is, you know that she's there for you because even if you are to leave, she doesn't cling on you. These other women don't allow to be left. How are cheeky? No. <laughs> let, me just, let me just look at some of the, um, the feedback here. I'm trying to say, we're asking um, compatibility versus uh, chemistry. chemistry. Edwin Shipene is my compatible is the way to go. Good morning, Mikali Nazulu to Mr. Salimika. Ngeno Kelvin, chemistry, I, ta I rather take, I rather take to reason from this first principle than go with this is compat compatible. All right. Mungina Nasema, I, I, I want to go with compatibility. Levis Gaho, Kenyan women go for cash and a car. That's their ideal compatible man. And, and we, we need to mention that these are foolish girls who go for cash and, and, and cash and cars. And that is not compatible or chemistry? No, 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 no. There's nothing of that. That's just a, a, a person who's looking for shortcuts in life. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, they'll yes. be caught up in their own, in uh, their own shenanigans. Step. One mm -hmm. of the things you need to remember is that what we are, by the way, you don't need compatibility without chemistry because that, that will be relationships of convenience. Because you know you each other. You don't see that again? Do not go for compatibility. We are good for each other, but we don't feel each other. Ah. That won't last. It will be a flat relationship. Very flat. Many times families propose you to marry so-and-so because the families know each other already. They have good values. They are so Christian. Mm. You and your same age group. <laughs> relationships of convenience are very compatible. But the connection is so weak because the chemistry is not there. You know there is no chemistry when you don't talk endlessly. One sign of chemistry, you can have stories upon stories upon stories. You enjoy each other's company. Time seems to fly. You don't even know like, hey, whenever we are together. Exactly. And then you view the world in a similar way. That's strong chemistry. Plus, now compatibility comes when the directions of your life are malleable. Okay. By the way, let me warn young people again. If you commit before you're 25, because somebody told me, told them to get children before they are 30, make sure they're done with the child before. And I told them, this advice from poor people, and they'll make you poor like them. If you follow what the poor did, you become <laughs> poor like them, mediocre like oh, them. Goodness. Some of these things were invented by chauvinists to suppress women and put them somewhere down. Okay. There's nothing about that here. It's pure shenanigans. Amen to that. <laughs> Don't come at me. There's nothing about it. Yeah. No, in life, it's about how far you go, not how fast you go. Yes. <laughs> So, I yeah. tell them, if you promise anybody to marry them when you're 24, you're 23, the problem here is you don't know your future, the direction you're going. You don't know that you're mm. compatible 10 years down the line. Mm. And, uh, uh, after women cross 25, they become 26, they start, an assertive energy shows up that they want this direction. I want to do this. No, me, I want to be on TV. Me, I want. But if you promise you married like a, 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 a stay-home girl yes. who is satisfied with an impersonal show. Exactly. Yeah. That time, that's what who you are. And I tell, I tell girls, do not. I tell men, don't marry a girl who has not yet crossed twenty-five. You don't know her. She may turn to something wild. And she doesn't know herself. <laughs> exactly. And I tell men, one of the things we need to know is that chemistry is very pleasant. But I just want to tell people, chemistry is necessary even in workplace. Chemistry okay. is not just for romance. Okay. When you realize you click with a person, don't always bring romance into it. You are ruining a good connection. 
We need chemistry to talk about who you're talking about. We need mm. chemistry to work together. We need chemistry to understand, to laugh, to enjoy our each other's company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chem chemistry is a human connection. It's not just for romance. Only that we need it in higher doses in for romantic yes. relationships. Yes. yes. But please don't ruin all relationships, all friendships by introducing love affairs into, into the connection. Sometimes just enjoy the connection. The fact that we flow, the fact that we, 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 we click, the fact that we like the way each other think. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay to leave it there. <laughs> Work <laughs> on that. <laughs> but maybe they are doing the, the searching, the bazaar searching thing. So. Yeah, the bazaar searching, that time you, you test everything. But many of us, even after you're done with the searching, you still meet people whom you click. Yes. <laughs> people whom you flow well mm -hmm. and it's easier to work when we have a connection it's easier to talk when we have a flow it's easier when you even are to teammates. solve problems exactly yeah it's easier when you are teammates you gel many times companies try to create chemistry by sending people there to go and bond spend time playing to try and bring some warmth <laughs> to connection mm -hmm. so chemistry mm -hmm. is important in all human interactions this is why you should not marry a person who is so childish and egotistical to think when you laugh, smile with a person of the opposite gender, you are cheating. Mm. Chemistry is there out there. You need a person in your work staff whom you can talk. Mm -hmm. You need a person in your a colleague whom you can who, who you can count on, call up and whatever time to sort issues. Trust is what matters, not policing each other. So mm. when you begin to date, look for a person who can let you be human, mm. <laughs> be adult, mm. <laughs> to have chemistry connection with others and still trust them. And them to do the same on their side while still maintaining the trust. And what happens, Zulu? <clears throat> chemistry, a hundred. Compatibility. We've experienced the, uh, we spend, when we're together, 24 hours is like 12 hours. And somewhere along the way, and let's just say we are over 30, just to be safe from Benjamin Zulu's wrath. <laughs> we are over 30, and somehow it dwindles. The chemistry is not there anymore. We are compatible, yes, because we've also come up with a way where we do things or how we do things. We are probably married with children, but the chemistry, it's bland now. It's tasteless. We're just leaving. What causes if that? If the connection is happens? genuine, it never dies. It can only it be transferred. Genuine. Yeah, it can only be transferred if you focus your attention on another person. Oh, exactly. Oh my God. A genuine connection is lifelong. I will give you an experiment. There are okay. friends whom you don't talk for months or weeks, That's but when true. you finally meet. Zulu, that post I have shared it in very many groups. I saw it on Thank your you. page. You have chemistry, mm. you have connection with mm. those friends. And you don't need to talk daily, even to keep it alive. No, you don't. But the moment you touch base, you pick up like... And there's no blame game. You don't call me... Yes. <laughs> there's no blame game. This is what you need. I told you, always marry a friend. A person who, without romance, will have been friends. That is what I was talking about. Okay. A person whom you like them as a person. The way they view the world. So that now, we, as we build now a, an exclusive relationship, we are building it with, with a person whom uh, everything else held constant. I like this girl. I like this guy. Everything else held constant. Okay. The, the way they are open for correction, the way they are adventurous, the way they are easy going. And I told you never to lose your, your youth, your child spirit, that playfulness and spontaneity. Don't lose it. Never lose it. Don't grow old. Don't say I'm growing old. Old means rigid and stubborn. And, and dull. Dacinator and dull. Remain playful. That is your youth. Your, your, your youthful spirit is in your control fully, happily. Don't even need to say you are forever 21. What are you denying? <laughs> <laughs> say I'm forever young in my spirit. Yes. I'm open, I'm flexible, I'm easy going. Mm -hmm. I'm I, I learn, I keep challenging myself, I keep learning new things. In fact, you can talk to any generation once you learn that principle. Yeah. You, I, today, me, I can talk to five year olds. And you find us jumping, having good time. Five year olds. Because I've learned to adopt their energy, <laughs> to go to their level. I yes. can talk to 15 years, 25 years, 55 Once I learn their energy, then I tune to it mm -hmm. and I flow. And you flow. Remain with flexible it. and you'll be acceptable everywhere. What one I say, Ma, unlike Paul's attract, I am an extrovert, he's an introvert, you know, and we might not be compatible in terms of like our personalities, but we know how to get around each other. Do you, and we've seen couples who are like that. They, when, when you interview them, when you talk about, when you talk to them, we we'll call, ah, ha, she's just like this. She wants to be inside. Mimi, I want to be outside. Would we call them incompatible or low compatibility? And is that a good thing to be or to have? That's a good chemistry. That's a good chemistry. Only don't take it too far by marrying that person. 
Oh. All right. Enjoy the chemistry. Enjoy the connection. Oh my God. There, there's a personality I'm always attracted to because I'm ENTP, they are INFJ. Mm. Their personalities are naturally just click. And okay. I always know, even without testing their personality, this is one of them. It feels good to talk to them. We see the world the same way. We are philosophical. <laughs> we are abstract. And I always know uh, this is the chemistry, this is just the click. So I know how to flow with it without taking it too far. Just a principle in life. Yes. Uh, the, the awkwardness, I told you the awkwardness with sex and romance is that it brings, it, it makes sour what would have been sweet. Mm. When you are dating for marriage, ensure there is that chemistry correct. But go next to check, are we facing the same direction in life? Do mm. we have underlying same principles? Mm. Do we have loyalty, faithfulness? And, and, and Mwikali must tell, for you in particular, I coach women like you how to find a good mate. And one of the three principles I tell them is you can't marry an ordinary man because your life is very large. You are known by many people. You are yeah. seen all over the world. Mm. You need a person who lives like a champion because you are living a champion life. Ah. You are touching many lives. You need a person who has that capacity. Therefore, the bad news when you're on that level is that the people you need are there but they are rare and you must search proactively. Hey. Hey, there another, girl whom you, another girl <laughs> whom you went to school with, who yes. is living a simple life with, a, with, with, with a big home somewhere, just mm. a simple life. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> she has more candidates. Hey. But when men see you on screen everywhere on YouTube, hi, where, who's the Zana? They admire how you look. Oh my God! Yeah. Like, but they are doing like an abstract thing. Mm. <laughs> they mm. don't know where to find. Like, it. yeah, I don't want to touch. I'm sure so many people are already there. <laughs> It's not true, guys. <laughs> there are not many people. <laughs> Shoot your shots. Okay. I like that. I lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh I, told, my God. I, I, I told some guys that I uh -huh. don't know what guys are looking for. I keep seeing, now that I searched and I know how to identify virtue, I see virtuous women everywhere. I oh don't, my God. Where are men looking? <laughs> yeah. Help them. <laughs> One guy asked me, Bana, where do I look right now? I told him, Have you started the supermarket? I saw a good girl there pushing a cat. Can you greet that girl? <laughs> Find out. She's looking Salimiana too. That's how we search. When you're looking for a car, you keep seeing them. If you're looking for a particular car, you keep seeing them yes. everywhere. You keep seeing yes. for sale sign. You keep yes. taking numbers. You keep that should be your energy at that time. Okay. 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 <laughs> so okay. It, if you have a lot of chemistry, uh -huh. but then you are saying our love has died, it's it never dies on its own. It died because you stopped connecting, stopped mm. talking, stopped conversing. Another dynamic with even normal friendships is a good friend can be lost because you stopped putting effort to meet. Okay. You can lose a person whom you still miss them every now and then. But you simply stopped looking for each other after a while. Mm. It, takes, it takes you to remember that person. Whenever we talk, I feel so rejuvenated. Let me take out one of them. You call first time, they return in the middle. Let's remember, you end up having a very rich conversation because you mutually put yeah. effort to meet. Yeah. When you're married, you must mutually put effort to keep building, building. In life, things don't wind up, they wind down. In life, things left on their own, they fall apart, including yeah. relationships. Mm -hmm. I'm very keen. I tell people, once you marry, I train people once you marry, is concentrate your forces. Try to see how you can meet. Try to see how you can talk constantly. And the, the, the problem is what, settling mentally and thinking, now I got it and we have won. I tell men, just because you're a husband, does not mean you should be admiring day by day. You should be admiring how you're making her feel. That is a daily work. <laughs> the status wow. of being the husband is not enough. No. She will not admire you and worship you for being husband. Mm -mm. And I tell women not to appear too impressed to have been married by this man that you are just to, uh, living to admire that. No. <laughs> Have grades of rewards. <laughs> How much to reward <laughs> after you are given what? <laughs> Where? You don't stick there in the position. You perform. Mm. <laughs> so, chemistry dies when performance is neglected. Okay. Uh, I feel like we should just take a look at some of the SMSs here before we go. I'm not on Itaji. Ukiingi apa inakuanga fire. Hi, Wix. I need your help uh, ASAP. What do I do with my happy of seven years? He's always insecure. He always says that Natamani wanaume wengine ata mtu kwa ploti ya kipita in brackets a man na niko hapo anasema na mtaka na mimi sina shuli. Now we are not even talking with him. Today morning, Habi texted telling me that he will rent her house for himself cause natamani wanaume wengine what are you doing there and you, i think you mentioned something like that um a bit uh, a while back marriage is not a prison it's not a prison you don't leave for that man you have a calling so you, you cannot smile outside the house you just smile for exactly. him <laughs> like mikali let's tell this and this is a pre 25 months this is actually most likely start dating at 22 married at 26 mm. na, 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 na. he was like this he has not changed today yeah 
She was just viewing her, viewing him through teenage fantasy eyes. Oh, but we love each other. Oh, but, 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 but. this is a nonsense. I keep you. Anyway, <laughs> this is sure. a point. This is a point. Yeah. Let us say the marriage, if you entertain a relationship, it should be better than your single life. It should, it should be improving on how you are before you got in. That's true. If a person comes in and they make your life more hard, they are not worth it. Whatever costs you your peace of mind is not worth it. Whoever is confining you to a small prison is not worth it. Cut it. Hello, I'm dating this lady who is okay. I'm a, I'm a okay. <laughs> we got the chemistry, we'll link up well, but nowadays I feel like she's just after money. I don't want to sound stingy. I help her where I can, but to say the truth, we can't talk four sentences without her stating about cash. She is like, let's go and see your land. Is she, is she the one? She doesn't make me feel at peace. It's like I have to prove myself every day. Benjamin Zulu. Of course, uh, that's not chemistry, you're just a cash cow. Oh, God. <laughs> I tell you, the one sign of virtuous women, they can hardly ask for money. Mm -hmm. They hate being mistaken for being dependent or needy. They hate it. Do you know even today I have to discern the needs of my girl? She's still shy to say it directly. I have to put effort to see what she needs and try to over provide in case she's in another agent case. In fact, those of us who get virtuous girls, we know we have to give them an emergency kit in case you can't reach me and there's a need to use that. Because they won't be able to yes, come directly they can to suffer. You. They don't want, they, that's not them. <laughs> they are more used to giving than to receiving. Mm, mm. So my brother, that's not a virtuous woman. That's not it. We've been dating for three years with this man and have a kid and have even had a kid but i have realized he does not help me grow with um he just talks about what he plans about his life alone he doesn't even consult me. you should have started seeing <laughs> that before getting a child before wasting three years stop wasting my time here you don't date for three years date for three weeks uh, a child is not part of dating we are sorry she's 23 years I exactly don't want thank you <laughs> i knew the nonsense i knew the nonsense Dating is meeting and conversing, not meeting and having sex and having pregnancy. This is not dating. It's nonsense. You're ruining your life. No, no. You are, for sure. Oh we God. have a child already? Three years? How many can you date like that? Getting a child in three years? You have eternity. No. Dating means meeting and conversing. That's it. Hello. I go with comp compatibility since it shows the true color of the person. If you have been paying co co attention to this conversation, it is important, but chemistry is also key. Exactly. Just make sure that by the time there's, there's some spark. You can't marry a person who feels like your brother. No, because you're <laughs> compatible. Exactly. Now go at 24 too. You know, they're so idle to text every day and they're texting so long things of the nonsense they've been doing. And they're hoping you perform a miracle and reverse their, their years of performing outrageous acts of stupidity. Ooh, 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 Lord. They don't want to own that it is a misdeed and stupidity that has led them here. Mm, they're trying to blame mm. the other person. Oh, you yeah. should have started with the personal development. If you're abandoned but you have some money, you won't complain. I'll say, I just went to live my own life. But now you have no money, you're left by man and by God and by yourself. Eh. So with you. We are sorry. Ice cubes because na kaapa. Let's state the fundamental principle, Mary. True. Always think yes. before you do anything. This mm. life, everything conspires to put you on the defensive. People will take away money from you. Thieves will snatch your phone. Problems will come. Your job will be taken away. This life is a jungle. Mm. You can't afford to behave mindless and start moving clothes and having pregnant. No, 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 without thinking. Mm. Then you complain. From the time, what, baby, hey, what did you expect? People are out for themselves. Some just said wanted to have sex. They are not trying to become fathers. That's true. So pre-25, listen to me. Don't engage in anything sexual. Before, before you get into relationships. What you do is first plan your life. If you behave without thinking, you'll end up in a grave while you're still alive. And some come to me hoping to perform a miracle to reverse years of nonsense. Mm -mm. Don't move in. Anyway, let's go. Don't move in. Don't get pregnant. Dating means when you are ready to know what you shall be in 10 years from now. That's it. But I tell Wikali to date because I know this girl will be in the media 10 years to come. Mm -hmm. This girl will still, she has found where she belongs. Now she'll marry a person who can fit this life. Mm. What if at 22? Did you know this? No. Exactly. What if you had married at 22? I wanted kids by 25. Thank Jesus. I'm here. <laughs> Zulu on the call in Maliza. Exactly. But. <laughs> and, and only that I don't have time. This show I'm doing for yes. youth only. I, I'm, I'm taking people and contrasting them. The classmates you had who dated and got babies at 22. Mm. The path where you are today. Mm -hmm. They're somewhere fixed in a small space, trying to struggle. 
try to maintain, try to look like they're happy. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Now you can marry and be happy. Them, they're already confined. If they want to grow, they must surrender the marriage. Ah. Because the, it, but the thing we were talking about at the beginning, about what changed, you're not the girl I married. Exactly. Because now you have ambition. Exactly. And my time is up. Exactly. To partier social media handles. <laughs> oh my God. Breathe, right. Zulu. Breathe. Benjamin Zulu KE everywhere. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming through. And thank you for tuning in. We're taking a very short commercial break. Triple one, triple four, triple one is our SMS line. Full circle with Pukali. We'll be right back.